In this video, I'm going to be covering the new current living situation assessment that's coming to HMIS on October 1st, 2019. Now this particular video just applies to street outreach projects, path projects, and coordinated entry projects. So if you are not one of those projects, you actually don't need to watch this video. However, everyone, regardless of the projects that you work with will need to watch the additional video that we are releasing alongside this one. It's a little bit longer video and is going to cover all of the changes that are coming on October 1st, 2019. But for my path, my street outreach and coordinate entry users, you'll want to go ahead and hang tight and watch this video as well. So let's get into this new assessment. So this is called a current living situation is what HUD refers to it as. In client track you're going to see it called living situation but basically what it's doing is it is replacing what was previously known as contacts. So if you were a street outreach project or a path provider you were used to recording contacts in the system. I'm actually going to pull up the contact screen just so you can kind of see what that looked like so make sure we're all on the same page. So this was where you would go in and record a contact service. So you'd have a drop down. Then you'd have the question staying on streets, emergency shelter, safe haven. And you also had the option here. It would populate your geographic location, which could be helpful if you were using like a mobile device to do the intake. So you, this would record exactly where you were at when you did the intake. And this is something that would automatically come up in your workflows and then on an ongoing basis every time you worked with that client you were required to go in record a contact service just through services and you'd be asked that question are they staying on the streets emergency shelter emergency shelter or safe haven well so that is kind of going away now that's no longer going to be a requirement by HUD and what they're basically doing is replacing that with current living situation. So I want to show you what the living situation assessment looks like and this is it right here and for path projects specifically you're just going to have a list of these five options here and you would go ahead and choose one of those and then you could go ahead and click save. Now you do have the option and this is something that Acovia just left built in. If you wanted to record a contact service for whatever reason you could go in and do that through here and then you can also do the geolocation if you wanted to track that. But again this is not anything that's required by HUD, not anything that is necessary. So that's the current the current living situation assessment, kind of what that looks like at least at least for a path provider. But this is also going to be required for other non-path street outreach projects and for coordinated entry projects as well. And coordinated entry projects, I know you guys were not used to having to go in and record something every time you interacted with the with a client now you will. So this will be kind of a game changer for all of you. So what I wanted to kind of talk about now is how you'll be recording these assessments in the system. And so again for street outreach or for path providers it'll automatically be in the workflow when you do the initial enrollment. But then outside of that and for our coordinated entry projects until we have those built into the workflows. You can also record your current living situation by clicking the action button beside an enrollment and then click on living situation. And this is what you're going to find yourself doing a lot of, right? Because every time, for instance, I would run into this client, have any kind of interaction with them, if I was this path street outreach project, then I would need to go ahead and go in here and record a living situation assessment. And then those are going to actually start populating down here. So we added this area here to the dashboard because we know that the contact services, it was helpful having services listed on the dashboard here. So contact services would populate here and everyone could kind of 
work together and see when the last time a client was had an interaction with a PATH or street outreach provider. So that's one reason we kind of added this here, just to add, um, kind of have easy access to, to this data. And so I've kind of showed you what it looks like for, what the assessment looks like for a PATH project, but for non-PATH street outreach projects and coordinated entry projects, it's a little different of assessment. So I'm going to pull that up here. And what you're going to see is actually a full list of living situations. So this is going to kind of match what you're used to seeing when you do an, an initial enrollment and you have that prior living situation question. It's kind of pulling that same list here. But kind of the kicker here is depending on what I choose here, it can have some more addition some additional questions that pop up so if I choose a homeless situation I can just go ahead and click save and I'm done that's gonna be true for any of the homeless situations however if I choose an institutional or transitional or permanent housing situation and again it's not uh, I'm not a path project I'm not doing this for a path project but doing this for a street out a non path street outreach or coordinated entry project I'm also going to have this additional question here. Is client going to have to leave their current living situation within 14 days? So for instance, let's say they're currently today, and this information date is going to be the date I'm assessing this. Let's say they're staying with a friend right now. Well, then I would need to ask them, are you going to be able to stay there for the next 14 days? Are you going to have to leave within the next 14 days? If no, I'll go ahead and record that here and I can click save and be on my merry way. If not, if I choose yes here, if that's the situation, if that's the case, then I will also have to answer these additional questions. So we want to make sure we get to know each of these questions here and that we're asking these questions to the client and then that we are going in and recording them in HMIS. And so I know this is a good bit of additional data entry, especially for a coordinated entry project since they're not, have not been historically used to having to record a contact. Um, but it is something that is going to be required. It's going to be pulled into reporting as well. So something that you're going to want to always remember to do and you just want to get used to these different questions here and kind of how this how this is laid out. So once I answered those questions, then I could go ahead and click save here. And then of course it will save that and I'd be able to see it reflected here. So again, the ways you're going to interact with this is street outreach and path this will automatically be built into your workflows so you'll at least get the initial one right there in the workflow and then you'll just do the ongoing ones by clicking the action button and living situation coordinate entry for now we'll just need to go in and record it through here every time it's not going to automatically be put into your workflows until those are customized to do so we also added the menu option here, living situation, which is just going to kind of show you this history. So if I clicked here, I'd be able to see those same, same list of living situation assessments. And I do have an add new living situation button here. Only difference here is I'd have to go in and manually select my project versus if I do it from the action button, it makes it a little bit easier on you because you're already selecting the action button beside the enrollment and so it's going to allow me to then just go in and quickly identify that living situation. But hopefully all that made sense. Um, again you can expect these changes October 1st 2019 and because this these are this is an assessment that you have to do on an ongoing basis you know, it is something you you really have to um, kind of remind yourself to do as you're working with your clients. If you do have any questions about this, you can, of course, 
as always, click on help here and submit an issue ticket and your COC admin will be able to assist you. Thanks.